take a moment to talk about some stuff. Hey guys, we've been here in Mexico for a little over a month now and uh, we had talked about doing a trip to Moab, Utah in the spring. And the more we think about it, uh, we're thinking it'd be really a cool experience to bring some friends do Moab in the spring and then come down here and do a little taster of Baja. Uh, if we time it right, we can end up here for this San Felipe 250. Uh, spending time with Guy has really uh, opened our eyes to, uh, you know, racing is cool, it's fun to watch, but it's even really more uh, captivating when you're involved. So we have an opportunity to possibly get involved again. Uh, so, we're going to put it out there, uh, that, uh, and I'm going to link it with some dates and such below. Uh, but we're going to, after we get home, we're going to take care of some stuff, and then we're going to organize a trip to be in Moab for the spring, and then come down to Baja for, for about a week as well. And if that interests you, we have spots for five people uh, on that trip. Uh, we'll be leaving Victoria uh, late March. Uh, we'll be here for the first in Baja, and then we'll be home about a week after that. As we see, it'll be about a 17 day trip. And uh, for all you veterans who've been down here before, I, I'm sure you understand uh, what it's like and how cool the riding is. Uh, I hope to include an overnight. Uh, we'll do a ride, maybe Mike Sky Ranch, or create another loop. And uh, I'm really excited about this. The more time we spend down here, the more captivated I become. I'm a late bloomer. Uh, but for those of you who have never been to Baja before or Moab, this is a great opportunity to try it out, uh, fully supported. And uh, it doesn't matter what your riding level is, or even if you have an off-road motorcycle. Uh, we've got a couple of extras and we can work out a deal uh, and uh, coach you through it. And there's every level of riding. And even just to be here, even if you stay on pavement, it's spectacular. So. If you're interested or have any questions, uh, please uh, just bang them in the comment section. And uh, we're super stoked. Uh, we've been at this YouTube game for about a year now, and uh, and we produce a lot of content. And uh, some of it's pretty rough, but it's been a learning process as we go along. But we really, if you've just found us, uh, please uh, hit the subscription. Uh, the bell for notifications and go look into our uh, our first trip to Panama we have a southbound series it's 57 videos long and then the coming home we try to condense it it's only 26 videos to come home there by that point they're they're really quite good and entertaining and I think they they, they haven't found their audience yet so if you finding us go check those out they're, they're called uh, homebound the homebound series as we ride from Panama all the way back to Canada uh, the goal of this uh, channel is, because it is a cooperative, is to share our adventures with other people and, uh, and invite people to come along. Uh, my own personal little dream is that uh, one day we can reach a level where we can just invite people along and, uh, and take care of everything. That'd be really cool. As you can see, we've been working on uh, the trip hauler. Uh, we're going we're going Guatemalan chicken bus, and uh, I think it's kind of fun. It's been getting a lot of really uh, good feedback so far, and uh, it had to have an identity, and I think uh, we'll just keep going with it. Uh, I'd like to see uh, the original trip hauler get a retrofit, and maybe it can come out on an adventure soon as well. So again, uh, please, uh, we're reaching the thousand subscribers mark. Uh, be a huge Christmas wish for me I think fairly unrealistic but if we could get over that that would be awesome uh, and uh, get you down here to Baja and where you can find some of the magic it's uh, it's absolutely breathtaking down here